This next application is for ITB or iliotibial band syndrome, which is pain on the outside portion of the knee. This is due to iliotibial band friction over that area, uh, usually due to tightness. Uh, the IT band runs from above the hip to just below the knee. And for the first portion of this application, we're actually going to place that band of tissue in a little bit of a stretch. So I'm actually allowing this leg to come into adduction. So it's putting a little bit of a stretch over the hip and down the side of the leg. In this position, just taking one piece of tape, tearing the paper off to create the anchor point down near the logo, and starting below the knee, I'm going to lay this anchor down and simply remove the paper backing of the tape with no tension. So in this position, the ITB is actually on stretch. By adducting or dropping the knee uh, down, it's placing the tissue on stretch. For the second portion of this application, we'll leave the knee bent. Though I'm going to have you roll to your back. Okay, I'm going to tear one piece of tape. And again, tearing an anchor point near the logo. Okay, we're going to place this on skin just behind the other, the first piece of tape and just above the knee. And that has zero tension on it. I'm going to peel the paper backing off just for ease. I'm going to split this into a Y strip now. And putting tension on the skin, pulling towards the anchor point, we're actually going to put 50% or medium tension on that piece as I lay that piece down. Towards the end of the tape, no tension. Okay. Same with the other portion of the Y strip. I'm going to pull tension towards the anchor as I put 50% or medium tension on the tape itself. And laying that anchor point with no tension. Make sure that rubs on. And it's that simple. ITB or iliotibial band syndrome uh, occurs down by the knee, though you can also have ITB issues up by the hip, uh, causing hip pain or greater trochanteric bursitis. Uh, there are some good techniques for this. We can place that hip in, again, a stretch over the ITB. And I'm going to take one piece of tape, tearing it in the middle. In, in this case, I'm actually taping over shorts, but if you're doing this at home, you would tape directly to the skin. And I'm going to take this piece, put 75% to full middle tension on the tape. You can find that bony prominence on the side of your hip. That's actually your trochanter. I'm going to place the tape right over that. As I lay the tape down now, I'm actually easing up on that tension and just laying those tails down with zero tension. So I'm just paper off right there. And you can try this first and see if this works for you. If you need additional taping, try this technique. I'm going to tear another piece, just like the first. And again, with full middle tension on the tape, 75% to full, you're going to cross over that first piece. And again, I'm just laying the tails down without tension. We're going to take a third piece and we're going to repeat the process. Again, full 75% the full tension, middle tension on that tape, laying the tails down with no tension. Okay. And the last of the pieces, again the fourth piece, same technique. Full middle tension, again crossing over that point of pain with full 75% the full middle, middle tension, no tension on the tails. We'll bring that hip out of that position. I find this technique works fairly well for that lateral hip pain. Uh, definitely go ahead and try this if you're having those symptoms.